Why is tackling Europe's NPLs issues so important? Europe has had a comparatively high level of non-performing loans for a number of years, and although levels have started to fall, they continue to present a significant issue for affected banks, as well as the wider European economy. High levels of non-performing loans cause a number of well-known problems for banks. They act as a drag on earnings and dividends, as they generate no income. Banks are forced to divert resources away from profitable services to managing loans which provide no return, and banks are required to set aside capital to cover potential losses on their non-performing loans. Which means there is less capital available to support lending to individuals and businesses. Could you please... These issues can lead to broader negative economic consequences. Please! And in countries with higher levels of NPLs, this is likely to mean fewer new jobs are created and economic growth is weaker. Banks with high levels of NPLs are also more susceptible to financial shocks, which may make them, as well as the entire European financial sector and the economies in which they operate, more vulnerable. In spite of these challenges, we've been pleased to see many European banks implement strategies to manage NPLs within their own institutions. Some of these strategies are already having positive results, with the level of NPLs falling steadily. AFMI is also broadly supportive of efforts to tackle the issue at a Europe-wide level by institutions such as the European Commission, the ECB, EBA, ESRB, European Parliament and national authorities. In particular, we believe there are two main areas that should be prioritised in order to effectively tackle MPLs. Firstly, the development of a deeper European secondary market for MPLs, where banks can be matched with investors who want to purchase such loans. Second, insolvency laws should be better harmonised, with minimum standards established. More efficient and effective insolvency frameworks could make it easier for banks and firms to prevent a loan from becoming non-performing in the first place. In addition, we believe that rules for the amount of capital that banks must hold in relation to non-performing loans should also be proportionate and appropriate for the characteristics of individual banks, rather than a one-size-fits-all approach. AFMI will continue to work with industry, supervisors and policymakers on this vital issue.